So, parang yung problema ng ordinaryong Pilipino na kalimutan na ng gobyerno. Bakit yung mga maliliit at simpleng problema hindi masolusyonan ng ating gobyerno? Kung hindi natin masusolusyonan yung maliit na problema, paano pa yung problema ng ekonomiya natin at ng buong bansa? And then we talk about entrepreneurship. You know, we always talk about small business, promoting entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship should be the backbone of this country. But if you have a small business and you go to City Hall and apply for your business permit, sigurado dalawang tao makakausap mo doon. Yung fixer, <laughs> tama? No? O rin yung empleyado na magiging fixer mo. You know? So, that's why in Valenzuela, namin namin, no, I, when, we, when I assume office, I told myself that the first order of business is to fix the small things, you know, like the banyo, you know, um, the, the discipline among the employees, and promote entrepreneurship in City Hall. Because that's where the bulk of our businesses are. You know? The small businesses, um, the Sari Sari store, the Tindera and the Palenque, we have to help them um, lower down their business costs. So, so this is Aling Ana. Aling Ana is probably a few, the, the, the few thousand of Sari Sari stores owner in, in Venezuela. And I'm sure you know, in the Philippines, this is, Aling Ana is probably the, the few millions of Sari Sari store owners in the Philippines. And if you are a small business owner, there are three things that you have to apply in City Hall. Um, your building permit, your real estate property taxes, and your business permit. So these are the three things that you have to uh, apply in City Hall to run your business. And in the old process, uh, there are many requirements. No? You have to go to the barangay, you have to go to, uh, to your, uh, to your uh, uh, the fire department to get your clearance. A damning requirements. And it's time consuming because you have to go to the different offices. It's also very, very confusing <coughs> because especially when you apply for a building permit, you have to go jump from one table to the other, from your electrical permit, from your uh, building permit, from your mechanical permit. And it's very frustrating. You know? So in the old process, you can see, nakikita niyo dito, oops, um, ito yung mga requirements na kailangan nyo just to start your business. You know, seven requirements for your new business and ten requirements to your renewal of business. And these are the steps. You, know, you have to undergo ten steps just to get your permit. So if you're a small sari-sari store owner, dapat gumahan ka ng ten steps just to start your own small business. So in Valenzuela, we launched what we call the 3S Plus. Actually, 3S lang yan. And then the new mayor added this plus. <laughs> First S is simple in processes. Uh, speed and delivery. Service excellence. The plus is using technology. And let me just go through uh, the 3S plus very, very quickly. Um, the first S is simple. So we reduce the number of requisites uh, if you apply for business. You know, the common premise of government to the applicant is the applicant is always dishonest. So dapat ipakita mo muna sa lahat ng mga requirement mo bago ka namin bibigyan ng permit. Pero in Venezuela, we change the whole concept. We assume that the applicant, or in this case, the Sari Sari owner, store owner, is honest. So we give you, when you apply, we give you your permit right away, and within 30 days, you comply with the other requirements. So within a few minutes, you're up and running already. Um, just to show you, uh, in the old process, there are about seven requirements, but we managed to reduce it to three requirements. There are uh, statutory requirements by law that we cannot do away with, so, but kahit pa paano, na-reduce na namin from 7 to 3, and from 10 to 3. The second S is speed. Um, speed is largely hinged on information technology. And this is very important. This is the heart and soul of the 3S Plus um, uh, project, you know, using information technology. For all of our departments in City Hall, 
from, from the treasury department, from the assessor department, from the business permit department, everything is linked. Dati pupunta ka from one office to the other just to get your permit. So here, you only talk to one person. And uh, because of information technology, we managed to uh, reduce the 10 steps earlier that I've shown you to only four steps. And uh, before, when you apply for a permit, it takes about 14 to 21 days to get your permit. Now it only takes 20 minutes. So this is another um, uh, another example of using technology. You know? uh, we use the graphical information system to improve our tax collection. Para tong Google Earth, you know, if you've used Google Earth, um, so it's a satellite-based uh, uh, information system. In Valenzuela, kasi uso sa amin mga compounds. No? I don't know if any, any one of you are from Valenzuela. But uh, in Valenzuela, uso yung compounds. So you cannot see what they have inside their compounds. If they have uh, how many houses, if they have uh, how many factories. And the basis for your tax collection is the infrastructure or the asset that you have in your, uh, in your uh, compound. So uh, in the old process, we have to send our tax mapper, tawag namin doon, tax mapper, to literally go there and measure each and every structure you have. Siyempre, alam mo naman mga taxpayer natin, medyo magaling sila, bibigyan ng kape, konting biscuit, diba? konting envelope, makakalimut, mabubulat na yung tax mapper namin. So, we used uh, the graphical information system. In this case, um, we eliminated human intervention. So we don't have to send our tax mapper there to measure uh, your infrastructure. Uh, we use the satellite-based system to know exactly uh, what assets and what um, improvements do you have in your compound. So just to give you an idea, so using the satellite-based system, we will know exactly how big is your, um, uh, is your house or your factory. And we can compute right away how much you have to pay the government. So no human intervention. If you eliminate human intervention, you eliminate corruption. And we also, with the graphical information system, we also improve the process when you apply for your uh, tax declaration. Before it takes about three days, two to three days to get your tax declaration. Now it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to get your tax declaration. And uh, of course, we have to compute the return on investment because so we add all of these technologies cost money. No, so we invested about 19 million in this technology. We already collected about 215 million, and we will be collecting another 338 million. So that's 11 times uh, return on investment on this technology. So it's worth it. And the third S is service. And this is probably one of the most difficult part of the three S because we're talking about humans. And um, alam niyo, mabilis bumili ng technology. Eh, no? A lot, you can talk to a vendor, they'll sell you the technology. You, know, you talk to a hardware vendor, they sell you the hardware. But you need your employees to implement this system. And this is the most difficult because a lot of the employees have been working in City Hall for many, many years. No? Iba dyan, 30 years. Iba dyan, 40 years. Iba dyan, actually, bata pa ako. When I, I used to, when I go to City Hall before, when I was a kid, nakikita ko na sila doon. And when I became the mayor, Nakikita ko pa rin sila doon. So, just imagine uh, a lot of these employees have been used to um, doing their own thing. So, we have to change their mindset that the taxpayer is like our customer. And we have to change your mindset that the taxpayer is, uh, we have to treat the taxpayer just like when the, when the taxpayer, just like any other customer, no? in a hotel, in a restaurant. And uh, we did that by constantly training our employees. Talagang binugbog namin sa training. Um, in the hotel industry, the employees get trained there twice a year. No? There's a specific amount of hours for training. In Valenzuela, we did that also. And it's also very important to communicate with your customers, with your taxpayers. So in Valenzuela, we also use technology like email, Facebook, Twitter. So we get all the information right away. In fact, ako personally kung binabasa lahat ng email ko no, from, the, from our constituents because it's important to get first-hand information. 
Nangyari kasi na, I, like for example, my email, I give it to somebody else, minsan nasa-sanitize na. So it's important, kung pinag-chat-chagahan ko, there has to be each and, sec, each and every email that the constituents send me. And this is the, the, the third, uh, this is the plus in the 3S plus. And this is actually uh, one of the great inno innovations that the new mayor introduced. When you apply for a building permit, you, know, you go to your building official, you, know, you fill up the form, you give up your plans, but the plans go to different um, engineering offices. You know? um, it goes to the mechanical uh, division, mechanical uh, engineering, electrical engineering. But in this case, para na siyang ATM. No? So you just fill up your form, lagay nyo lang sa ATM yung plans nyo, and then the screen will tell you when to pick it up. No? So you don't have to talk to anybody, walang fixer, walang human intervention. Before it takes about two months to get your building permit, now it takes about one to two days. No? Assuming that uh, you follow the building code proof NAL. And of course, the proof is in the pulling. No? Lahat naman to dapat mag-translate into, uh, um, translate into improvement. So, um, in the last nine years, we managed to double our um, registered businesses by 100, double it and increase it by 100%. Uh, our business permit income, we managed to increase it by 182%. Our real property taxes, we managed to increase it by 215%. The last two years is attributed to that GIS, that satellite-based information system. And overall income increased by 100% in the last nine years. Wow. Of course, the more money you have, the more funds you have, the more projects you can do. And the more projects you can do, of course, you will have a happy customer. And before I end, you know, in the last two days, I think, um, we have experienced heavy downpour, heavy traffic, you know, and I, when I was scrolling through my Facebook, and daming mga nagbumura, daming binumura si ganito, binumura si MMDA. Actually, MMDA ang perfect punching bag eh. Kaya kung meron kayong, kung ako ang presidente at meron akong kagalit ng politiko, i-appoint ko yan kaagad sa MMDA. Tapos na yung political career niya. So anyways, um, I saw this hashtag. Mura, ganun, tapos hashtag hopeless Philippines. Medyo na, medyo na depressed ako, no? especially being a public servant. Sabi ko, parang hopeless na ba talaga ang Pilipinas? Wala na ba pwede mangyayari sa atin? Well, in my experience, it's not hopeless yet. Maraming innovations happening around the country. There's a lot of new mayors, a lot of new governors, a lot of congressmen. Pag-plug ko lang si congressman, Miro Kumbo nandito. Yan ito mga face of new politics. And a lot of um, public servants are very sincere in coming up with solutions uh, for our people, our country. So it's not hopeless, definitely. And we just have to do our part. First, by choosing the right leader. Kayo lahat, mga botante, it starts with you. you, know? you choose the right leader. And then second, tell your uh, friends to choose the right leader also. Because hindi naman pwede kayo lang. No, dapat lahat tayo kung may pili ng mga magagaling na leaders, especially those ones who are creating solutions and innovations to help the country. So it's not hopeless. You remain hopeful. Thank you very much.